Bracketa Yahawa, Bracketa Yahawa Shai, Bracketa Yahawa, Bracketa Yahawa Shai, Bracketa Yahawa, Bracketa Yahawa Shai, Call Halal Lai, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. This is a video uh, from RT, as you can see. And it says, Wes isn't happy losing control it had for five centuries. And, <laughs> hey, this is just more proof that North America, okay, which is known as Babylon the Great, which is means great confusion, is on its way out. All right. This place in which you call America is due, is done, is done. All right. And, um, other countries, you know, well, this is a guy from Russia, a minister uh, having a speech. And, um, you know, he's also an Edomite. All right. Because the Russians are also e uh, Edomites. But, you know, the world can actually see that, you know, America is on its way out, except for the American people. All right. Which are you, uh, you know, I'm going to say you two thirds of you Israelites, you know, and, you know, you Edomites that live here. And, and and proud to be an American. All right. And, um, yo, the Lord is, uh, surely, slowly, but surely, you know, and I'm gonna say on time, you know, breaking this place down, you know, um, I want to play the video, but before I play the video, you know, as I got, you know, the spirit that I received from that video is that Russia, you know, just like as well as China believe that they're going to be the next up to rule the world. And um, you can clearly see that, you know, China, uh, let me say Esau, Moab, you know, these other nations are gearing toward the future dealing with technology, you know, and the main source of that technology is uh, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. You know, you see China uh, in their land, you know, and amongst their society, everything is biometrics. Everything is digital, you know, they dealing with the chip, you know, they got robots, you know, the AI intelligence, the same, you know, agenda as Esau, because it really, you know, in a nutshell, Esau runs the world, as it uh, says in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. But you can clearly see Moab is beating America, OK, when it comes to the future in which they think they're going to have. All right. But not realizing when the Lord set this place up, all right, for you Edomites, which is known as Babylon the Great. When this place go down, you know, that's when the kingdom of heaven for Jacob, all right, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, all right, his name is Yahweh Shai, is coming his second return to rule the earth, all right, and forever. So I want to read here Second Ezra 6 in the first chapter, uh, the first verse, and I'm going to read down into it. But, you know, it, for even from the very beginning of this chapter, it shows you who runs the world, which is Yahweh. All right. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, Second Edges, chapter six and one. And he said unto me in the beginning, when the earth was made before the borders of the world stood or ever the winds blew, because who created uh, nations? The heavenly father. All right. All right, let me let me read that again. So like you had to uh, look for a scripture This says, and he said unto me in the beginning, when the earth was made before the borders of the world stood or ever the winds blew, because who created nations? The heavenly father. All right. Yahweh. All right. And this is his world. And, you know, just to prove that, let me get Daniel's chapter four. And um, I start at um, verse 16. Let his heart be changed. Let, let his heart be changed from men's and let a beast's heart be given unto him and let seven times pass over him. All right. Verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high. Ruleth in the kingdom of men 
and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. And who is the basis of men? Esau. All right. At this particular time, Esau, you're the basis of men. You're the true cave dwellers, Caucasians. All right. You are the Edomites that the Bible speaks of. So the Lord rules in the kingdom of men. And as the scriptures say, it says, and he get and he giveth it to whomsoever he will. And right now, the time uh, uh, of the, the, the world's ruler would, would be Esau because we're in his blessing that was given to him by Isaac. All right. But guess what? Let me get another scripture real quick. This is uh, Job 14 and um, verse 4. It says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined and the number of his months are with thee, thou has ab appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right. So the Lord set up rulers. OK, he set up king, uh, empires and nations. Uh, well, say a nation to rule the earth. OK, but he also determines the end of that nation ruling. So it says seeing his days are determined. So Esau, you know, your days are determined. You know, you Russians, you Moabites, you're not going to rule the world with this um, new world order, which is um, uh, one world government, one world currency, everyone microchip, transhumans, you know, AI robots living amongst us, having human rights. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So you can't. You know, rule if the Lord said that your rule is over. All right. Because the Lord determines that. So let's get back to second address uh, six and one. And he said unto me in the beginning, when the earth was made before the borders of the world stood or ever the winds blew. Before it thundered and lightened or ever the foundation of paradise were laid. Matter of fact, let me get this other preset real quick. Let me, uh, so let's get this, uh, Daniel's chapter seven and verse nine. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at eight. It says, I considered the horns and behold, there came up among them another little horn. All right, let me, let me get to the point. Okay, here it is, right? Verse nine. It says, I beheld to the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit. Who is the ancient of days? That's Yahweh, the heavenly father. It says whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head were white like, excuse me, and the hairs of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his will, his wills as the burning fire. All right. A fiery stream issued and came forth. For uh, from before him, thousands, thousands ministered unto him and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were open. All right. So the ancient of days, you know, which is another title for the heavenly father, you know, he, uh, you know, walked the earth before any uh, any of us existed. All right. So just giving all powers and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. All right. So let's get back to second Edges chapter six and two. It says before it thundered and lightning or ever the found foundations of the paradise were laid before the fair flowers were seen or ever the movable powers were established before the innumerable multitude or an of angels were gathered together or ever the heights of the air were lifted up before the measures of the firmament were named or ever the chimneys of Zion were hot and airy the present years were sought out. And or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed that had gathered faith for a treasure. Then did I consider these things and they were all and they all were made through me alone and through none other by me. Also, they shall be ended and by none other because this is the heavenly father speaking. OK, to, to address. All right. And he said, then did I consider these things. And they all were made through me alone. 
So the Most High doesn't have a counselor, all right? He doesn't have a woman or, you know, he has to sit down and discuss things with, all right? The Most High is taking claim that he's the God of the earth, you know, the God of Israel, but the God that governs and rules the whole universe, all right? But he is the God of Israel, which he is also you other nations God, you know? It's just that right now, you know, it's not, you know, not for you to serve the Lord because the Lord is building back up his house. But once the Lord establishes judges and make us perfect, you're going to have to worship our power, our, our, our God. OK, which is the God that governs the universe that basically set you Edomites up. All right. All of these uh, dynasties that came upon these great uh, empires, man, the Assyrian Empire. The Babylonian Empire, the Greeks, the Romans, all right, because Greek and Rome are the same nation. And now we're in the second leg of Rome, you know, which is which is you today you call Americans. All right. But it's nothing, nothing but a modern day Greek and Roman uh, uh, structure. All right. So the most high set them up. So who is the so what the Lord is going to do? He set a boundary that you can't pass. And we're in the time. Of the book of Revelations, where the Lord is revealing, okay, who is the sons of the wicked? Who's the son of perdition? Who's Esau Edom? All right, He's revealing who are the Israelites. All right, He's revealing who is His who who are His people. All right, who Yahweh Shai died for, not the world, but the Israelites. All right, and in particular, the elect of the Israelites. So it says. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also shall they be ended, and by none other. Uh, then answered I and said, What shall be the part and asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first, and the beginning of it that followeth? All right, because what is Edris asking? He's asking the Lord, okay, when is the... Uh, you know, when is the end of the first? You know, when is the end of uh, of of, you know, this world? All right. And where when is the beginning of our world that followeth after the end of this world? All right. So he's asking for the information of time. All right. And the Lord's doings, the Lord's uh, will. All right. Because when we say that, you know, this is the end of the world, we're talking about this is the end of the rulership. OK, because it tells you in Ecclesiastes one and four, the earth will buy forever. All right. So the earth is never going to go out. All right. And, and you know, never be the earth abides forever. But guess what? We're the end of the world, end of a society from a nation that's ruling the earth today, which is Esau, Edom, the sons of the wicked. All right. So. Let me continue. It says, then did I consider, cons uh, then I answered and said, what shall be the part and asunder of the times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? All right. So the end of the world, we want to find out and we're about to find out what's the beginning of the world, which is the kingdom. All right. The heaven, which is on earth, because right now we're not in heaven. We're in hell. All right. It says verse eight. It says, and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So the world's, you know, the Lord is revealing who is the East, who's the Edomites, Esau, Edom. So that should just let you know this is what the end of the world, you know, as we saw also, and through this um, video, you know, all these different nations can see that America is falling, you know, it's falling, that great city, because eventually it's going to be put down, man. This place is the lake of fire, which it will be. All right. Because it will be a great world war, which they which will be called World War Three. All right. But these other nations and countries can see that. America is on its way out, man. You know, as this guy here um, uh, from Russia, uh, just call him a minister. He was speaking, you know, he, they, they could see that, you know, uh, 
America is not happy because why? They're losing control. All right. Where's the money going? The money's not here in America anymore. America is not that cash cow anymore. All right. You know, these other countries like Iran, China and Russia have created a treaty with each other, you know, to uh, to trade amongst themselves with the money. man. All right. And now everybody is basically leaving, you know, the American so-called American way or the American dollar. That's why it's going to be an economy crash, man. All right. So let me get back and read that again. Second Edra six and nine. It says for Esau is the end of the world. So when we say the end of the world, we're talking about the end of an age. All right. And I believe that word world is uh, is eon. All right. The end of the world, which is eon, the end of a rulership, the end of an age. All right, because Oinklamene is the entire world. All right, and cosmos. Right. So it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob, which are the twelve tribes, the father of the twelve tribes, is the beginning of it that followeth. And obviously, the twelve tribes, Jacob, is uh, the Lord's chosen. So this means that what? This is heaven. This is going to be what the Lord promised the Israelites, which is a heaven on earth. All right. As it is up in heaven uh, uh, with our heavenly father, as it is up in the uh, fourth dimension. All right. Where the souls rest with the Lord. The order is going to be established here on the earth, you know, ruling with the elect. All right. Of the Israelites, King David. You know, let me say, let me say in order. Yahawashai, King David. All right. The apostles the, and the elect, man. All right. So, you know. Let me see here. Matter of fact, I'll play a little bit of the video and then I end the show. Minister is in the French capital this Tuesday attending the Paris Peace Forum. It's an event aimed at promoting better global governance. Sergei Lavrov was drawn on the subject of global responsibilities. The West is pretty much to be blamed for everything. No? No, not for everything, uh, just for its own mistakes. Well, a very strong speech by the Russian foreign minister outlining his vision of what's happening in the world at the moment and talking about some of the issues with what he sees as the uh, way that the West has viewed itself in the past and how it views itself in the present in terms of its global uh, domination. He said that the West needs to take responsibility for its actions, that it needs to understand that its domination of world affairs has been melting away and it said that it needs to accept that the world of the future is a pluricentric world. In fact, he even went as far as accusing the West of preventing this from taking place. Of course. Our See, and, and this is what, you know, Esau believes that his house shall continue forever. All right. Because they believe that when America actually loses its power. All right. Then that they're going to control the world and they're going to dictate and. Their country is going to be the great country everybody want to go to and this and that resources, the technology. You sadly mistaken. All right. That's why I read those scriptures. Some friends are not happy uh, because for more than 500, uh, uh, more than five centuries, they dominated the, the political, economic and uh, cultural civilizational life uh, on this planet. Uh, they try to... Uh, put this process, this objective process on, uh, on brakes. Well, he also was talking about some of the recent events over the last few weeks. He talked about Catalonia. He talked about uh, things that were happening in Bolivia. Of course, the resignation of uh, now the former Bolivian president, Evo Morales. And he talked about the fact that uh, the intervention there wasn't uh, the pointed finger being pointed at Russia. Russia hasn't been accused of meddling in any of these countries. But he suggested that essentially somebody else was. Somehow we have not been accused of the coup in Bolivia, uh, and this is strange. So something is happening in, in the minds of those uh, who normally create geopolitical agenda. Uh, I believe that it is very unfortunate what we see in, 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 in Iraq. It is very unfortunate uh, to, to see Lebanon in, in, in this uh, stage uh, of uh, you know, distress. 
but don't forget that in Iraq, uh, the people still try to overcome the uh, effect of the American American invasion. We also saw a little bit of humor from the Russian foreign minister. He was asked during the question and answer session, how was Russia preparing for the 2020 US election? We talked a lot about the US today. So I wondered, um, the presidential elections are coming up in 2020. So how is Russia getting ready for that? Uh, we'll resolve the problem. Don't worry. <laughs> Right, because, um, you know, here in America, they beating Trump up about, you know, Russia helped him get in office. So they making mockery of it, man. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, man, hey, our kingdom, which is uh, Yasha Allah. All right. He prints power, the prince of the, the most high. All right. The Israelites, starting with the elect. All right. Is about to rule the earth, rule the planet. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.